Hey guys, Keaton here from TechSmart, and today we're going to be doing a scratch and hammer test between the iPhone 5S and all the great goodies that it touts. So we're going to be using a few variables here. We're going to be using a set of car keys, my standard car keys with just one key on there. We're going to be using a kitchen knife, and then we're going to be using a hammer made out of rubber. But don't be dis discouraged by the rubberness of it. It is very and highly condensed rubber, and it can really do a lot of damage. So without further ado, let's go get banging and check out what the keys can do to your brand new iPhone 5S. So first we're going to go ahead and do the car key test. I just have one key on my key ring as I'm not a big key guy. So let's go ahead and start with the uh, back of the phone here. This is the uh, space gray model. Kind of a cool name. So we're just going to start with some light keystrokes. Let's go ahead and inspect the damage here. So I'd say there's a few blemishes on there, but uh, as we've seen in the past, you can go ahead and try to wipe them away or just put some a uh, little bit of grease from your fingers on there. And they are pretty much disappear and I don't see any blemishes. So let's go ahead and try the front screen of the device now. Go ahead and inspect the damage. You can definitely see some uh, scratches on there. Very faint. Uh, we have two right there from directly stabbing it with the key. But for the most part, it's holding up pretty well, and I'm quite surprised by it. Uh, and I'm just in awe of how great the aluminum can hold up to it and how you can just wipe away it. So let's go ahead and move on to the knife test. All right, so now I have my kitchen knife here. It's your standard 7-inch blade. So we'll start with the light keystrokes and then start going harder. Let's go ahead and inspect the damage. So it seems that when we put it at a glare here, we can kind of see the stabbings of the knife. And that's okay, I'd say it hold up pretty well, but uh, again, it's gonna affect the aluminum on the back. But that's kind of understandable as you're taking a metal object and putting it to another metal object, and with the force you're driving to it, it's obviously gonna make a mark. So I'd say it held up pretty well, but when you put it in the light, you can definitely see the punctures that we have there. So let's go ahead and move it to the front of the screen and see how it performs there. We'll start with some light strokes. Let's go ahead and inspect the damage. So it appears that the screen is pretty flawless despite the two marks we made when we stabbed the key at the screen. Uh, I'd say it's holding up pretty well with the screen. It's kind of just deflecting the knife and your screen's going to stay pretty intact if you do take it to a hard object or you have many keys and sharp objects in your pocket. So let's go ahead and conclude the final test here and bring the bid bag boy in. We're going to go ahead and test out the hammer on the iPhone 5S. So for the final part of the video, we're going to go ahead and bash the crap out of this phone with a rubber mallet. So I know the words rubber, mallet, hitting it hard doesn't sound like we're going hard in the paint, but this mallet indeed can pound nails and many other hard objects as the rubber in here is highly condensed and can really do a lot of work. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get banging with the back and front parts of the iPhone 5S. Let's 
go ahead and inspect the damage here. I'd say for the most part, we're pretty good. Um, the only punctures we really see is from the knife test, and there's a few scratches from the knife test. But to be honest, this screen is pretty fine, and the back part is just flawless besides the punctures we see there. The glass on the back is also fine. So let's go ahead and compare it to the front now. Rubber mallet once again. Let's go ahead and inspect the damage here. And I'd also say that we are pretty fine. There are no cracks at all amongst the entire screen. There's a few, you know, blemishes we have, but that could just be from contact with the rubber, making kind of a grease imprint. But again, for the most part, this phone can hold up pretty well. Now, keep in mind here, I was hitting as hard as I could. I wasn't holding back at all, and I'd say this phone definitely surpassed my uh, uh, initial expectations. So, let's go ahead and conclude the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching the scratch and hammer test with the new iPhone 5S. This phone is pretty durable, and yes, every situation is going to differ depending on which objects are in there and how much time and how much effort is being put into those objects, scratching your brand new beloved device. So just to conclude here, we have a few punctures and scratches on the aluminum. We can kind of expect that, and that's not going to really hurt your performance of the phone by any means. And then we take a look at the front here. Besides the two little dimples we had uh, before on the screen, your phone is going to be flawless. It's going to work well, and you're going to be able to do everything you want on your iPhone with no problems at all. If this is something you guys want to see more of, go ahead and let me know with the like button as it really helps the channel out a bunch. Also, go ahead and subscribe as we'll have tons of more iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C and pretty much every Apple piece of device they've released over the next two months on the channel, and I highly recommend it as we'll be coming out with a drop test to test the durability conditions of both phones from different heights. Thank you guys once again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.